Hello everyone, this is Daily Inspiration with Energy to share with you the Word of God this day. And this is a very uh, encouraging Word of God and I just want to share about the worst possible scenario. And as we, we read in Job chapter 1 verse 13 to 22, it says here that now there was a day when his sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in their oldest brother's house. In verse 14, and a messenger came to Job and said, The oxen were flowing and the donkeys feeding beside it. Verse 15, When the Sabians raided them and took them away, indeed they have killed the servants with the edge of the sword. I and I alone have escaped to tell you. Verse while he was still speaking, another also came and said, The fire of God fell from heaven and burned up the ship and the servants and consumed them. And I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was still speaking, another also came and said, The Chaldeans formed three bonds raided the camels and took them away. Yes, and killed the servants with the edge of the sword. And I alone have escaped to tell. Verse 18, while he was still speaking, another also came and said, Your sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in their oldest brother's house. Verse 19, and suddenly a great wind came from across the wilderness and struck the four corners of the house and it fell on the young people and they are dead. And I alone have escaped to tell you. Verse 20, Then Job arose, tore his robe, and shaved his head, and he fell to the ground and worshipped. Verse 21, And he said, Naked I came from my mother's womb. Naked shall I return there. The Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In verse 22, in all this, Job did not see, not charge God with wrong. Wow, this is very, very great message for today. And I just want you to be attentive in listening to his word. So, but before that, I just want to tell you a story about a teacher in a Bible school. Always go to the coffee shop while graded the papers of his students. Accidentally, he bumped into his large cup of coffee. So the coffee saw splash. It was so dramatic that it could not be ignored. So a man sitting near side said aloud, Worst possible scenario. Each of us feared the thought of something in particular, like financial loss, the death of our loved ones, hardships, cancer, name it. The book of Job is a case study in the worst possible scenario. Yet Job assessed God's role in trying circumstances of loss and poor health. In verse, chapter 23, verse 18, in Job, But he knows where I am going, and when he tests me, I will come out as pure gold. So from this wise statement, we can learn the two valuable lessons. Number one, what we fear most can be used to test our character and make us stronger. Job is portrayed as a wealthy man of upright character who loves God. Yet God allows Satan to destroy his flocks, his possessions, his children, and his health. Job refuses to give up on God, even though he, has, he does not understand why this is happening to him. We too must trust God when we do not understand the difficulties we faced. So Job is a rich man living in the land of fools, blameless, blameless, a man of complete he feared God and stayed away from evil. He had seven sons and three daughters. He owned 7,000 sheep, 
3,000 camels, 500 teams of oxen, 500 female donkeys. He also had many servants. He was, in fact, the richest person in that entire area. Job lost all he had through no fault of his own. As we see calamity and suffering in the book of Job, we must remember that we live in a fallen world where good behavior is not always rewarded and bad behavior is not always punished. So through Job's life, we can see the faith in God is justified even when our situations look hopeless. To be unshakable, faith must be built on the confidence that God's ultimate purpose will come to pass. The second thing, God will provide the strength and comfort to see us through. So cling to God. He promised to work on our behalf even in the worst possible scenario. So Jesus said that anyone who gives up something for the kingdom of God will be repaid. And that was in Luke chapter 15, verse 29 to 30. It says there that Jesus replied, and I assure you that everyone has given up his house or wife or brothers or parents or children for the sake of the kingdom of God. And verse 30 it says here, will be repaid many times over in, in this life and will have eternal life in the world to come. So in these verses, Peter and the other disciples had paid a high price leaving their homes, their jobs to follow Jesus. So Jesus reminded Peter that following him has its benefits as well as its sacrifices. So in our conclu conclusion, my dear friends, there is a poem that says, God often sends me joy to pain. Through bitter loss, divinest gain. Yet through it all, dark days are bright. I know my Father lives aright. So the living God can take the fear out of living. So may have no answers at as to why God allows evil. But we can be sure that He is all-powerful and He knows what He is doing. The next time you face trials, calamities, see them as opportunities to turn to God for strength. Make God your foundation. You can never be separated from His love. Wow, this is a great message of the Lord and I hope that you are blessed and it will give you more inspiration as you go forward in serving God and your family. God bless you and have a great Sunday, my dear friends. May the Lord keep you safe and give you strength to overcome and to be and overcome. This is Daily Inspiration and thank you for listening. God bless everyone.